into the match proper. So here we are. So of course this is going to be ooh, KD3 and Stevie versus Stevie G against Hotline and Yid. Uh, of course KD3 and Stevie, I know. Um, I believe. Did they team at SmashCon? They did really well. I remember KD3 did really well. Uh, they also, despite the fact you are seeing Smash Remix on screen, unfortunately, I don't think that we're, we're allowing Dark Samus in bracket. One day. One day Nintendo. I, will Nintendo even notice if we do it? Uh, what a company. All right, and it looks like we're going to be rolling up to, I I guess we are allowing some of the Smash Remix stages, it looks like, or I guess, I mean, stages, I think, I think I'm pretty sure it's identical to Dreamland, uh, just different music and backgrounds. All right, anyway, yep. Is this a button check? No, I think we're getting right into it here. All right, so, of course, KD3 and... Uh, and Stevie, really, really solid team. And really good players as well. Their ability to just, like, master stage control is so good. And, oh my god, already out of the gate. And, oh, what a trade, though! Oh, that worked out so well. I'm not sure which one of a uh, green team is who is who, respectively, but the Yoshi there, well, that was massive. I thought he was about to die, but nope, turning it around and actually making this a completely even game state right now. Not, that's not even, that is a decisive lead for red, uh, for green team. Yoshi just putting in work at the moment. Oh, look at that, I love that combo. Just, you see it, the recognition. Saw that, his, saw that the Kirby got the up tilt and he's right there ready to help his partner combo into death. Alright, but KD3 at 111%. Oh, that, that was so good. Recognizing that he was going to try and go for the Thunder, and it hits him. Just get a little bit more stage positioning. Looking really... Oh, even. This is so even right now. So, so even. Yoshi, though, at decently high percent. And it, the thing is that in doubles, High percent matters so much more. Not only because, uh, I mean, of, of course, you know, you're closer to dying, but when you do get hit, you get knocked so far away that it leaves your teammate just out to dry. You see right there that Yoshi got hit on stage, and not only was he pretty much dead, but his teammate was stuck there just being double teamed. It's to the point where really good players, you'll see that if if they know they're dead, first of all, they'll go straight into the blast zone. And I've even seen them on a cage saving his teammate. That was so good. Ah, oh, but doesn't save his teammate for too long. Oh, that's going to do it. Oh, what a pickup. This game was looking so even for a second, but not even no longer. This Kirby being absolutely decimated. And KD3. Oh, my God. And the shield pressure. That is a broken shield. That is a dead Yoshi. Two to one, four stocks to one. This is cool. How much can he keep himself alive? I'm waiting for some sick, nasty 2v1 combos. And yep, just a clean forward throw to down air. Taking game one. 83 Stevie G looking nice. Team All right. Things looking solid at the moment. Uh, I am. That, I feel like the beginning of that game was maybe a little bit on the. Uh, I'm not gonna say questionable side. They're still playing very well, but nowhere near like the, the second part of that game. You just see the center to the awareness that red team has. Oh, could you see the double right there? Yeah, being able to armor through that Kirby up so it's such a menace of a. Alright, red team actually kind of struggling to find its footing at the moment. Oh, right as I say that, can Yeah, that's the like, just recovery is so good. It doesn't matter if he gets up. Oh! Again! This, this Yoshi just finding the forward is so pivotal. 
This is looking kind of similar to that game one where, oh, I like that actually. Goes for the neutral and makes sure that it kind of helps cover for his teammate. And the fact it was a late neutral and then he got back to stage five. Good back air though from KD3 picking up that stock. Slight lead for the green team though, and it's gone just like that solid forward throw. Gonna be taking it, and now this is, oh, when your partner dies, it's so terrible. You have to recover with both of them just hurting you on the ledge, and ah, oh, I missed a grab right there. I, very interesting, yeah, he holds the Pikachu and waits until the teammate is closer before throwing it. Almost like a hostage situation right there. Yeah, I'm liking the fact green team making sure to help each other out. They've, we've already seen that red team is more than comfortable doing that sort of thing. And I'm actually curious, I see some Let's Go Connecticut's in the chat. Huh? Which team is CT? Uh, I'm just not familiar in terms of direct regions. Okay. Yeah, forced to shield that as his teammate comes down. I... Random question for Double Pika is banned. I don't know. I kind of... Oh, by the way, hi, I'm uh, Salty Fun on commentary. I don't know if Pika is banned. Double Pika is banned. I kind of agree with it just because we get to see some solid character diversity, you know? And when, when Double Pika is allowed once you get into the late stages of Bracket, it's kind of just a Double Pika. Okay, wow, green team looking so good. Ah, that stock being dropped is turning into an even state, but this is still super, super solid. The green team, considering how that last game went so fell apart for them, this, even this late into the game speaks volumes. But we're starting to see, oh, ah, that stock drop there, that was a really, really bad one. Now Yoshi just, okay, good job, saving his teammate from even further damage and consequences. Okay, that's super far off, but Kirby should be making it back if he is not tested in any way. It does make it. Both of our green team, they're at decently high percent. Okay, decently high percent, but good job right there, okay. We have one stock for everybody. That Kirby, though, this is actually really big. If they can take out the PG on the Kirby, this could be a green team. Could definitely take it. The things they need to find it. And, oh, look at, look at the way he's shadowing him. He's just basically sitting as a buffer between them and the Kirby, knowing how pivotal it is that he does not die. And they pick up the stock first. This is going to be it. Great stuff. Fantastic stuff to KD3 and Steve EG. It was looking like it might have gone, not gone their way, but you see they're so good as a team comp. They know what they need to do when in order to keep their teammates alive and just keep their dream alive. That was so, so good. I'm, I, I love their synergy. It's such a cool thing to see. Can't wait to see more of them as we go deeper and deeper into Bracket.